to go get him? Yes. This Hey man, today's video is brought to you by C4 Sports Energy Drink, you know what I'm saying? You got to drink the C4 so you can see more bass, you know what I'm talking about? That boy over there itching right now. Side effects may include ass, but <laughs> Hey bro. <laughs> no bro, for real. This got me itching bro. Hey, I hope you bleed that out. <laughs> <laughs> that boy going through it. Hey man, drink the C4. Matter of fact, before you go to work tomorrow, Drink some C4. I'm so turnt right now. I'm so turnt right now, bro. It's 8 a.m. If you go on a positive day and you like what ants feel like, C4. You don't want to stop doing what you're doing? C4. That C4 gonna turn you up, my boy. Hey, got to see it through. We here, we here, we are finally here, here. Ladies and gentlemen, season one is the end. You know what I'm saying? Not no regular season, not no season all salt season, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm playing. No, but for real, we here at uh, Stone Mountain, folks. And we got uh, our good, our good uh, co-workers. Brad, Tom, Connor, Sarah. No, all right, no, but anyway. No, we uh we here today at Stone Mountain, you know what I'm saying? Just to give you guys a little tips, you know what I'm saying? It's fall, turnover's about to happen in most lakes. Hopefully not in this one just yet, but so we're just gonna show you some of the patterns that we use that works on some of our home lakes and how you guys can apply them to your type of fisheries. Cause smaller the fishery, different techniques, different foragery, different things like that that you'll have to do. But those are words we'll get into later when we teach you about our urban dictionary. We gotta we gotta we gonna have an urban dictionary section of course, to of show y'all how to, you know what I'm saying? But what we gonna get into right now is basically showing you areas. First thing we gonna teach you is areas. That is so important. When you are fishing areas, tell the people why. So basically what he's talking about, fishing areas is very important to, you know what I'm saying, to the conditions of the day. So we're getting close to fall, it's getting cooler at night, the water temperature's getting a little bit cooler, so the fish are gonna start acting different, simply because, you know, the weather acting different. It get a little cold outside, you gonna put a jacket on, eh? you know what I'm saying? It's hot, you gonna go in the shade. So the fish are like the same way. They thinking like, what are the best conditions for me in this situation? Hopefully this falls out the tree and he thinks it's a calico and he just eats it. Sheesh. Let me tell y'all, that right there, that's what we like to call threes. Watch this. Turn me up. Fish on? Oh no, it's a branch. <laughs> the infamous tree stick. Tree fish, y'all. You seen how I stuck it though? Hey, bro, you said hook like you had something for real. Was, this was, boy got a tree pounder. I got a tree pounder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all though. It's okay if you catch these. It's okay if you catch these a lot. 
Your favorite fisherman is lying if he says he never caught one of these. Hey. First fish of the day on the crankbait. I got him file hook too. Get him, get him, get him. First fish of the day. He's a little dinker though. But we on the board. Alright, let me just get it off of him and then we can get it out of him. I hooked him like crazy. But it's a small one. It's the first fish of the day. Just cranking. You know? Uh, I don't even know. I think that's a citrus ad, that color. Uh, blue hair, man. I don't know. But, uh, so basically it's a little dinker. I'm about to put them back. But yeah, I'm just cranking. Figure it's a little search bait, you know what I'm saying? I can burn it off. So yeah, it's a little top of the morning update. You know what I'm saying? Top of the morning, top of the, <laughs> top of the morning update. It's raining, as you can see. If you can't see, it's definitely raining. Uh, it was raining hard at this. It didn't slow. It didn't slowed up a little bit, but it's like it's about to pick back up. We got one fish in the boat, off a of crankbait in the back of a little creek. So we we think we have an idea of what we need to do. And once we really dial in on it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna let you guys know what we're doing and how you can do it too. You feel me? Uh, 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 I don't know. Yeah, because I don't even know if we can give away their merch. I'm giving it away for free. They do boat giveaways, like, enter for a chance to win. Might be tripping. Huh? Might be tripping. Probably not. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, that's fish, fish on. Fish on. Oh, dang. Oh, you need to go. Crank season, huh? He's little, though. Let me tell y'all, folks. Kayla is putting it on me right now. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Ouch, you just dorsal fin me, little guy. I keep foul hooking them. They keep hitting it so weird. Another little one. I just said I was about to catch a fish. Second fish of the day. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This fish number three today. Two for, uh, two for me, one for him. We on, we bro. We found a slow pattern for y'all. If y'all see how he ate it. Man. Black and blue, who would've knew? Black and blue, who would've knew? I did, because I said. So, what we learned is with the overcast conditions, what we learned that worked best would be bigger profile baits, darker colored baits, actually. And a lot of people say that, you know, chartreuse is the color to use when the water's kind of murky or offset. But today it was actually black and blue that worked pretty well. But uh, Kalen was striking more so off of moving baits, moving natural shad colors. So with overcast, cows, look, overcast conditions and cloudy rain conditions, we just found that in a short amount of time, a couple, like probably like four hours, five hours, a fish an hour probably, we uh, came up with the fact that shad, Shad presentation is the best. So, what we learned from this today, boys and girls, is 
if it's cloudy like this outside, find creeks, find the back spots. They're not in the middle. They're usually in the middle in the summertime. Kaylin to tell you more. So basically he caught everything on a bigger presentation, bigger profile, uh, black and blue color. But I was using crankbait, uh, moving bait. I was uh, searching for those fish that were active and aggressive. Um, how I caught them, uh, we were fishing in the back of creeks. Uh, we know it's been raining, so the water level is gonna rise. When the water level rises, most fish are gonna go to the back of creeks. They're gonna venture into that shallow water, that new area that they've never seen before. So with that, ideology knowing that I decided to throw a moving bait because I know I knew that fish were going to be trolling the banks trolling the shallow water so um, overcast rainy days uh, they typically say go top water uh, we didn't have luck with top water but just because uh, professionals say things not discrediting them at all because they do what they do for a reason but sometimes you just got to switch it up and do what works best for that specific fishery that you're on and even if you're on the same fishery that they're fishing on it may not work out the same way for you as it did for them. Different presentation, different day. You gotta learn to fish the day, okay? Fish the day, people. But, fish the day, people. Don't let circumstances tell you what you're supposed to do. Conditions like this, top water and bright colors are usually key go-to baits. But today we learned black and blue and natural would be the winner. We don't know why that is. Technically, it might be because of the pressure. We'll teach you stuff like that, but fish the day. Throw my clutches out there. Keep clutching. You need help getting back up? Yeah, but it's somewhere. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Just, just grab onto the boat. Yeah. Grab onto the boat. Trust me. The boat fast enough to grab you. Oh, yeah. You good and warm now, huh? Yeah. I got to go to the downside. Okay. Yeah, we got you, bro. Keep bank with it. Yeah, maybe we can go to the bank. Yeah. Then I can take it off the water. Yeah. Because I got, I got his, uh, yes. Yeah. This boy is not too heavy. Yeah, okay. No, no, we're not worried about the weight. Uh, we can go away there. All right. Don't so, just wait, just wait. I, know, I, know. Hey, I have the boat. And it's very hard because the wind is going to ride away. Yeah. And it's very hard too. Just come and grab the side of the boat. I got the kayak. I'm not yeah, gonna let go of the kayak. Yeah, come come on this side. You know my you know my, you know my favorite place. Yeah, okay. Yeah, too much weight. Yeah, too much you got water inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. You can stand up now? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I gotta take it over. Yeah. Here, Brandon, can you come up a little bit? I'm gonna help him get that water out. For sure. No, don't worry. No, no man left now. We fight three to one. That's right, baby. We fight three to one. Three to one. There you go. Go up a little bit, yeah. Maybe with that water, it's okay. Thank you very much for the Oh, no problem, man. Everybody was pointing at you. We didn't know what was going on. <laughs> they wasn't saying nothing. They was like, just go. They're like, what? They're like, go. Yeah. You're like, yeah. all right. But no, it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe God sent you to here. Yeah. At the right time, we left. We was yeah. just talking about it. We was about to fish some more. You was like, no, what? Let's leave. And I'm telling. All morning, I don't listen to any motor in here. Uh huh. I mean, I think we can get him over there if he doesn't... Yeah, because we got majority of the water out. Yeah, we can, we can get him over there yeah. if he wants to just ride with you. No, we... we're. Yeah, if you just want to ride with you, wanna, if you want to... He'll probably help you. They'll help you go over there. Yeah, uh, it don't matter. If you want to hop in with him or you want to hop in with us, we can just drag your boat over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can take it through right there and I can move one. Okay. Because yeah. there's rocks over there. I don't want to get no rocks. I can just scrape the bottom of the boat. I'm out, brother. I'm just finna kayak my way back in. Let it go. Alright. I don't know if it's taking on water. I think he just flipped over. I think he just leaned like. Yeah, he was just in the water. Hey, thank for your help. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Of course.
Good though? You good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>